All right, this is Mike Anderson here at Unbound Magic. We got ourselves a box of course set 2020 that we're going to rip into. I have kept up with the spoilers, so I am fairly familiar with what's in here. I know it's like a Chandra-centric set, so we're hoping to get some of her. You know. Ley lines in here. We want a ley line of... Uh, take them all out. Yeah, sure, let's do that. We got a ley line of Anticipations, ley line of the Voids. I don't have any ley line of the void, so it'd be nice to at least get one of those. I do have two ley line of the, uh, what's the white one? Ley line of sanctity. Yeah, I got got a couple of those, but I pulled the foil one out of a master's box, so that was kind of nice. There we go, embodiment of Agnes plus our first foil. That's gonna be awkward. There's our aerial assault. I'm gonna do it like that. Just throw them in there. Yeah. All right. Those pictures don't feel like they slide as well. I'm just going to try to cut right to the rear. Ooh, Sephira Skyblade. Not too bad. Foils. We're looking for foils in the rear cards. I want to pull some good walkers. Oh, what else we want out here? Where is it? It doesn't want to slide very well. Guilthorn Buccaneer. And the foil Uncaged Fury. I don't feel like they want to slide apart very well. Maybe my hands are just dry. Ooh, Lotus Field. That's a nice one. We always like rare lands. We'll set that off onto the into the sweet pile over here. That real estate. Real estate, yeah. That's what we like. Lotus Fields. I always thought it'd be nice to get a foil Lotus Field, but we'll see. We'll see what the box wants to give us. Oh, there it went. That don't matter. Don't want any repeater reverberation. Oh, there it is. Oh! Oh my God, there it is. There it is. That's the what. That's what you're hoping to get. That right there. That's what you want. Foil Planeswalker. M20. Johnny Strength of the Pride. Maybe not the best walk in the set, but no one is ever going to complain about pulling a Foil Planeswalker out of anything. Ooh, Field of the Dead. More real estate, we'll take it. Set it in there with the Lotus Field. Actually, we want to set this one off to the side here in the uh, super awesome pile. We don't even really need care of those other foil ones. There we go. That was a good one. The Johnny Strength of the Pride foil. Now we don't have to worry if we're going to get a good foil or not. We still might, though. It is possible. Leyline of Sanctity. There's our first Leyline. Ooh, and a foil. Look at that. That's a nice, another foil nice land. I like that. It's just a basic one, but it's nice. We'll take it. Stillwater Cliffs. Sure looks nice. Yeah, absolutely. What else is this box going to give us? This might be one of them boxes that just keeps on giving and giving and giving. There we go. Tail's End. Another foil. You know, it feels like a good amount of foils. Thrashing Bronodon. That's a good one, isn't it? I think that's these play, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. There you go. Shared Summons. Another foil rare. Shanda's Regulator. Nice. Beautiful. Set that down there behind the Ajani. All right. This is turning out to be a pretty good box. Like I said, I've opened boxes where you don't even get a foil rare, and that's always completely disappointing, but to get a foil rare and a foil mythic, it's the stuff that uh, dreams are made of. Ooh, Leyline of Anticipation, second Leyline, nice. We'll take that. It's not Leyline of the Void, but we're not, maybe it'll be a Leyline box and we'll get one of each. How sweet would that be? Ooh, Temple of Silence, Scrylands. We always like Scrylands. Anything that helps you. Oh, another foil. Ogre Sidebreaker. Set that over there. Have a pretty good foil count already. We're not even that far into the box. Ooh, brought back. 
down there. Show a couple of the tokens. All right, we'll see some of the tokens. I heard they've got really new tokens in this set. New style. Ooh, Dawn of Dreams. Yeah, new soldier tokens. They look nice. They look like almost like the ones that like some of the some of the bigger retailers put out, like Channel Fireball and stuff. They almost kind of got like that kind of a feel to them. Nice looking. We should give some of them away. What do you think? Give away some free tokens. Which ones you like? Oh, there's a mythic. Nice. Kethris, the hidden hand. We'll put him in the flat pile there. And another, is that another foil? Another foil infuriate. Nice. And this other token. Nice wolf token. Beautiful. Always a nice bonus when they can add a little bit of different, something different to the set or a little different flavor to something. And there are people out there that collect tokens. If you're one of me, message me. Leave a comment below. Maybe I'll send you one of these tokens. Gracious Hydra. Elemental token. Let's see what else we got in here. Graph Digger's Cage. That's a good one. Keep that Rihanna. Another foil. Fortress Crab. Tell you, man, I've bought in a lot of boxes online from some of the bigger online eBay stores, and I feel like I never get a good box. And this is what I mean by a good box. And I've ordered a lot from a lot of them stores, and I always feel like I get subpar stuff. But, you know, I get these things, Leyline of the Void, there it is, just as I'm talking about it. You know, I get these boxes from my from my local store, and it feels like every time I do, I, I hit, I have such a way better chance of hitting a dynamite box, you know? Like, every time I buy from my local LGS, I get these just amazing boxes. And, you know, a lot of times I do buy two boxes, so it does increase my chances or odds. Another mythic, Cavalier of Flame. But I always, I always feel like I just get just better boxes at my local LGS than I do at any, any time I order off of uh, some of them bigger stores on eBay. I mean, yeah, you're going to pay more for the box, but, you know, what difference does it make if you're going to have a way better experience opening up an amazing box? Planar Cleansing. Down there. Bag of holding. Not really familiar with that one or what it does. I don't want to read what it does though, because I'm probably not ever going to use it. <laughs> I mean, if I was to waste my life. Duraku Seth, Mob Flames. I'd be reading cards forever. Because there's a lot. A lot of text. I ain't reading all of it. Why turn my neck like a fool when Toronto Vision tells me what I should watch? Ooh, another make it. Cavalier of Dawn. Here we go. Yeah, I want to go ahead and say that this is a dynamite box. Dungeon of Geists. Ooh, foil land. We like those. Go in the foil pile. I got a whole binder full of those uh, basic lands, you know. And if you're building a deck and you need one, they're always nice to throw in there rather than a normal basic land. Ooh, Legion's End. See, I'm not really familiar with the Uncommons. I don't know, I'm not sure if there's any Uncommons a note in here, but I'm, I'm kind of just buzzing through them anyways. Ooh, Golos Tireless Pilgrim. Now I'm just going to start stacking over it again. You've seen me pull it. You know what's there. You can, uh, right yeah, I suppose I could do that. Just make two little piles there. That'll work. Two little happy piles. Oh, Wakerit Elemental. Ooh, come on. Let's not, let's not lose steam now. Almost nine minutes into it. We've been nothing but on fire. Marauding Raptor. Oh, another foil, man. Look at the foil count in this box. We're going to count them up at the end of this. This is like a extremely high foil count. You know, maybe just it's like gold, you know. You just hit a vein of just amazing stuff. So I flip that one upside down to get it open. All right. Hit a vein of gold here. There it is. Kalia, Xena Seeker. What did I tell you? Hit a vein of gold. Vein of gold. I'm not sure what the high hit in this is. I think we've done pretty well though. 
Probably got our money back on it. Ooh, there's Vicious Watcher. Gargos Vicious Watcher. Vicious Watcher. Ooh, Shifting Ceratops. Ooh, Scheming Symmetry. That's neat art on it. I'm not sure what it is. Another foil. Look at that. Jeez. Man. Oh, can't remember to open it on camera. I always want to open it up close to my chest. I feel like I get better leverage when I'm trying to open up this blue. Another mythic, Omnath, Locus of the Royal. Look at the insanity here. This is an insanity box. Definitely going to be going back to my local LGS. And buy more boxes there in the future. Thunderkin Awakener. Locks it on Life Chanter. Ooh, another foil, look at that. Agonizing Siphon. I'm running out of room to put my foils here, wizards. You're going to have to send me a special box just to hold them all. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, Temple of Mal Mal Malady. That's always a good one. We like the, like I said, we like those. I was hoping for a Temple of Epiphany. I got a deck that could really use those, but we'll take whatever which ones we can get. Ooh, Night Ambusher. And another foil rare. At the end of it, another foil rare. Do you believe that? Embodiment of Agonies. Let's do a recap here. All right. This is our, our, our good pile here. Let's see. We got a Temple of Malady, Temple of Silence, Leyline of Anticipation, Leyline of Sanctity, Lotus Field, Leyline of the Void. Let's see what we got in this pile. Mythics and Foils. Jeez. Omnath, Locus of Rage. That's one. Kalia, Xena Seeker. Two. Cavalier Dawn. Three. Cavalier Flame. Four. Kethis of Hidden Hand. Five. Ajani Strength in the Pad, 6. So that's like 5 Mythics plus a Foil one. Plus we got 2 Foil Rares, Chandra, Embodiment of Agonies. And look at all the Foils we pulled out of this box. It's just insanity. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14 Foils all together out of that box. That's insanity to pull that many Foils. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in.